This is what New York used to look like when Columbus discovered it. You can see the year on the top there. Right? Wow, my ears are popping. Yeah. Yeah, your ears popping. Welcome to One World Observatory. I've seen it, so I already know what was done. Yeah, that's why you want to support it. I don't know what everyone is doing. I don't know what everyone is doing. Oh, she's a cloud, right? She's doing it. That's why you can actually appreciate what you're experiencing in your life. Uniquely to each observer, experience the infinite facets of the city beneath us as you prepare to see forever. That's New Jersey side. Mm -hmm. Look at the cars, they look like ants. You see the cars? So far I don't see Central Park. But they will be coming. And that's Manhattan. And so we can sort of like navigate around using City Council currency, some small moments we 
can also focus in on some uh, specific locations, like in case anybody didn't know, we are right now in the World Trade Center. Um, first of all, why doesn't everybody take like two steps forward for me? Thank you. Can you get a volunteer to uh, tap one of the, the locations on the sign here? Anybody don't shout out to the sign? All right. So yeah, any of the black dots that looks interesting to you, you can just chat where it says Governor's Island, tap it. Tap where it says Governor's Island. There we go. Perfect. So you can actually see it around the uh, southern end and you can see all the and so on. There's historic buildings, places to hike around, you can ride bicycles and stuff like that out there. Um, this is East Side and, River. Uh, a mini golf course that changes every year based on certain feet. They invite a whole bunch of artists to redo the golf course and then add the video game theme. Empire State Building over there. This is Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Bridge right next to it. Williamsburg Bridge. And that one up there is Queensboro Bridge. Take a look at the people. Do you see the people there or is it just ants? Is that crazy or what? Concrete jungle, huh? This is New York from the World Trade Center, the Freedom Tower, which is 1776 feet tall. And the reason why they specifically made it this tall, specifically that number, is because of the uh, Independence Day. It was set. It was declared in 1776. There's a boat going just about under the Brooklyn Bridge and another big one following it, as you could see. So that square is where the first and the second one, second World Trade Center, the Twin Towers used to stand. Only that perimeter, imagine, it's pretty small. I mean, looking from up, up above, I'm pretty sure it's huge. And if you notice the people around it are the people standing there, you see that? They're like ants. You see all that? But from here you can, you can barely even see that there are people. And one of these islands, either this one, or that one over there is the uh, that's the liberty I island which is the statue of liberty but back in the days when the ships from europe used to bring immigrants to america the first touch point with american soil was either this one or this island and then people would have to go through quarantine and things like that you know kind of get uh tested for any diseases or anything so if they were found some diseases they would be sent back to their country so they would be denied entry now there is another building that's being built as we speak if you can see that crane moving see that so it's probably one of the world trade center center buildings by the way, the real estate, most of the real estate occupied in this very building we're in right now is uh, Condé Nast. It's, it's a publi uh, publishing company that produces magazines of all sorts. They, they're basically the monopoly in America when it comes to uh, 
magazines like men's magazine you know you name it like every fitness magazine every whatever GQ probably is owned by them as well so yep Не, тысячи. Я слышал э, до, до конца, до вот этой э, верхушки, 1776, 1776. это правда. Да. День не зави... Да. 